This is my insulin pump. I've got the reservoir of insulin in here. Hattie Saltzman sits in her family's dining room explaining life with diabetes. I'm wearing a pager. <laughs> she uses a small pump hooked up to tubing. It clicks in right there. It connects to a tiny needle that slowly drips insulin. But I've got scars like all the way down my side. Hattie will tell you the real pain is what she and other diabetics are expected to pay for insulin. It's, it's not something that's negotiable. It's not something that I'm using for fun. It's not something that I can choose whether or not to use. I have to use it. It is imperative to my life. If I don't have it, I die. I don't think I should have to spend $500 a month in order to live. What's the most you've heard somebody pay a month for insulin? I know some people who have less, even worse insurance than I did might be spending like $900. $900. Yeah, and we have to pay it or we die. Because we ended up leaving. What do you do when you can't pay? 2017 was the year Hattie learned what she would do to survive. Broke the law. <laughs> broke the law. You actually yeah. admit you broke the law. Yeah, and I hope nobody comes knocking on my door about that. Jeez. She began siphoning off her father's supply. I need insulin. He's diabetic too. And that maneuver was Medicare fraud. I need a six unit correction. Hey, what do you think about that? The fact that you had to break the law to stay alive. It shows me that this law is flawed and it was meant to be broken and it needs to be changed. Her doctor bent the rules too, sliding her dozens of samples in the form of shots. I got stuck using these, but I did figure out a way to like, pull the insulin out and put it in my pump, which is <laughs> against the manufacturer's recommendation, but when you got to do it, you do it. Hattie also learned another yeah. way to survive diabetes in her copay. She stretched her supply. I was skipping doses, um, just enough that I knew I would be alive, but I would not be living the best life I could be. And then she stretched too far. I had been rationing insulin so heavily that it expired in my pump. Everything crashed. I could not breathe. Your heart is racing. You have a headache. We had to go to the ER. It was one of the worst days of my life. And I hope I never have to go through that kind of thing again. Alex Smith from Minnesota rationed his insulin too. That's because his new insurance plan had a $7,600 deductible. His insulin was $1,300 a month. He died three days before his next paycheck. People don't know the extent that diabetics are going to to stay alive. Help came for Hattie through heartbreak. Hannah Mills died from cystic fibrosis. She was also diabetic and a fellow church member. So Hannah's family gave Hattie her supplies. I got like five bottles of insulin, um, which would last me more than through the end of the year. That's how Hattie survived 2017. I cannot describe how it feels to pick up an insulin vial that has somebody else's name on it when you know that person is no longer around. When mine wants me to check my blood sugar now. 2018 is a whole new year. So let's see how mine has changed. Hattie has a new insurance plan. I'm going to try and build up my supply for this year. She's gone from paying $5.50 a month for insulin to just 25 bucks. Now it's her turn to pay it forward. Anything that extra that I have that I don't need is going to other diabetics. Meet 12-year-old Avery, who also goes to her church. I'm going to be donating it, and I will be donating it for the rest of the year now that I know she's in trouble. Her insulin is $600 a month. Is this just what diabetics have to do now to help each other to get through a rough year? There are Facebook groups, there are GoFundMes. Um, everybody is doing what they can to try and help this community, but it's not sustainable, it's not enough. There's no way that we can collect enough insulin to save everybody that can't afford it. This is just how it is, and it needs to be changed. Hattie and other diabetics blame Big Pharma for the high price of insulin. That medication has been around for almost 100 years, and they say there's no way it should be so expensive. We reached out to Eli Lilly, and a spokesperson blamed insurance deductibles and points out the company has a solution center for patients. Their entire statement is online. Angie Riccono, KCTV5 News.